Hello my dear friends, let us discuss one previous year question which is from computer organization. So as you know this subject was introduced in 2021 for the GATE syllabus for electronics and communication engineering. Fine, look at this question, it is very simple. So CO is little bit uh, related to microprocessor, it is a generalized type of subject based we study where we study about different type of process structures or CPU structures, right. So look at the question which was given. So the contents of registers are R1 is equal to system 25, R2 is 30, R3 is 40 and the following machine instructions are executed. After execution, the content of R1, R2 and R3 are. So these are the instructions which are executed like push R1, content of R1, push R2, push R3, pop R1, pop R2 and pop R3. So for this set of instructions, what is the value or final value of R1, R2 and R3? And these are the different type of options given. So, to understand this question, let us clearly understand what is the meaning of push instruction or push instruction and pop instruction are related to stack operations. So, you must know some basic concepts to understand this particular question. Let us see what are the basic concepts which are required. For example, what is the meaning of stack? See, stack is a part of memory or some read it memory which is used to store the temporary data that is first one and the program counter content means the PC value, program counter content when subroutines are used or when interrupts are used that is also possible. So it means that in the processor the limitation of registers is there. So sometimes there, is, may, there may be a need to store the data of registers temporarily into the memory into that actual memory. So that part of memory where you store the temporary data is generally called as stack memory. And what is the important register which is linked up with the stack memory that is called a stack pointer which is one of the special purpose registers. So it is a special purpose register in a microprocessor which contains the address of last stored temporary data or stack pointer simply points to top of the stack memory. Depending on the processor, the stack pointer register value means the length of the register can be different. It can be some 16 bit register if it is 8085 and if it is 8086. Similarly, for example, say if you go for some microcontrollers, it can be some 8 bit register also. So depending on the processor or controller, the value of stack pointer register means the length of stack pointer register can be different. Okay. Now what is the other thing? So what is the technique of stack? So technique of stack is called a last in first stored means whichever the temporary data is last stored into the stack memory, that temporary data only will come out first for an instruction called as pop. Okay, so how it actually happens we shall see one by one in a, a very clear manner. Okay, so the stack pointer value must be declared by the instruction in the program. So stack pointer value default it will not take anything in the process. You have to write some value, put some value into the stack pointer register to initialize the stack memory. Okay, fine that is the programmer base, user, it is a user defined, you can use any part of memory to store the temporary data. But the technique of stack is called a last in first word, what is that we shall discuss in the question. Fine, the next one is what are some basic instructions which are related to the stack memory. So there are different other instructions also which are based on stack but these are the basic instructions. One is called as push instruction which can be a register or a register pair in some process like 8085, it is a basic processor, we can store only a register pair content into the stack memory. Okay, In other uh, process only single register is also possible into the stack memory, storing into stack memory. So push register pair or register means to store the content of register or register pair into the stack memory. So generally stack pointer whenever it is stored, stack pointer is decremented by the step size. Step size means what is step size depending on the word length of memory. Some memories will be byte addressable, some memories can be word addressable. Okay, fine. So if depending on the type of memory, what kind of uh, memory you have considered like byte addressable, for example, 8085 is there. 8085, it is an 8-bit microprocessor. So when you store 1 byte into the stack memory, stack point will be decremented by 1. When you store 2 bytes, means a register pair in 8085, stack point will be decremented by 2. Similarly, the quite opposite uh, uh, operation for the push operation or instruction is pop instruction. Pop instruction means to read or access the data from top of the stack memory into the register pair. Depending on the size of register pair, if the register is only 
uh, some one word length then only one word will be accessed from the memory. If the register is two words means two bytes whatever it is then two words or two bytes are accessed from the memory. Depending on the register size this instruction will work. So, in the pop instruction the stack current value of stack pointer will be initial value plus step size. Step size means the, uh, the how many words are there in that particular memory. If it is a byte addressable means in one word if there are two bytes means step size is 2. In one memory location if it is only one byte that is 1. If, if, if it is a 32 bit processor if each word is 32 bit length means 4 step size is 4. Depending on the type of memory what we considered the step size will change. So, this is some basic concept which is required for understanding the given question. Fine. So, now let us take into account what is the given program. Very simple the given question is like he says push R1 push means storing the register content into stack memory. So, no stack pointer is given let us not worry about it. So, the first and foremost thing you should understand is that whenever a question of stack is given stack pointer will always point to some previous temporary data already there is some temporary data which is existing in the stack memory. So, stack pointer always contains the address of that memory location. So, I am not taking any address because SP value was not given. So, I am just taking SP as some value, some, some address is there, let us assume. Okay, fine. Or we can take some address uh, consideration also. Okay. Now, for example, it is generalized question, let us not worry about the address. So, stack pointer is having some address, let us take. Fine. Current address is having uh, present in stack pointer is some value, x value. Right. Assuming that the word length is 8 bits only, so first instruction is push R1. Push R1 means whatever is the SP value means whatever is the stack pointer contains some x address, whatever is address. So from that address it must be decremented by 1. So SP minus 1 address at that particular location this content of R1 is stored that is the meaning of push instruction. So 25H is stored in this particular SP minus 1 address. Fine. Again push R2. Push R2 means whatever SP address is there minus 2 initial minus 2 at that address the content of R2 is copied. So, content of R2 is stored. Okay. So, this is the value of 30 means the current top of stack is 30H and push R3 means whatever is the if I am comparing with the initial value then it will be SP minus 3. If I take with respect to this one it is 1 only. Okay. So, this next data that is R3 is saved into the memory or stored into the memory that is 40. So, currently based on the first three instructions this is the value of the data that is stored in the stack memory. Now, next one is pop instruction. So, with respect to pop the current value of stack memory must be considered from here. For example, if I say the for the pop instruction I have to access from the top of the stack memory. So, current value of SP will be from here only. So, first one pop R1 pop R means whatever is the current value of data present at SP address that data is accessed into the uh, uh, corresponding destination. So, this is brought into the R1. So, the current value of R1 will be this value that is 40H. The second one, so after accessing what is the next temp data? The next temp data is present at the next location. So, SP is automatically incremented by 1. Let us assume the word length is only uh, 1 byte. Okay, fine. So, the next one is pop R2 means the next data whatever is there here that data will be brought into the next destination. So, what is the, the value? Register R2. So, this data is brought into uh, R2. Are you able to follow? So, this is 30 as it is. So, the purpose of this temporary data is completed. Therefore, SP is automatically incremented by one more value as compared to the initial value. So, now the next value whatever is there in this particular address of stack pointer, this particular content should be brought into R3. So, therefore, this data is accessed into R3. Okay. So, this is the meaning of the instruct uh, programs. Okay. So, the data is 25H. Okay. So, it means after this temporary data access, the current value of SP will be automatically SP plus 3. So, initially with respect to this blue color, it is based on push operations and with respect to the yellow color, this is based on pop operations. So, tell me what is the value of the stack uh, uh, pointer as of now, initial same value because 3 times decremented, 3 times incremented. So, what is the value of R1? R1 is having 40. So, this is 40 actually, this is 40 and R2 is having 30 and R3 is having 25. Is it clear? So, look at the options. What is the correct option here? So, R1 is 40, R2 is 30 and R3 is 25. So, option A is the correct answer. It is very simple. So, this is how we generally solve in a 
provisional way. But if you know the meaning of push and pop, it's very easy, no need to write anything, very simple. For a push instruction SP, you should analyze the data. For a push instruction SP will be minus 1 and top of stack will be the data R1. On top of that, what is there? R2. On top of this, what is there? R3. It means if you look like a building, R3 and R2 and R1. So that is what we have done in this explanation. So this is very simple. This is R1, R2 and R3. So from there, if you write pop, the same thing is accessed into R1. It means that the, this data top of stack is now brought into R1. Next one is going to the same value and this R1 content is coming to the R3. So like this, in push, SP is decremented. In pop operation, SP will be incremented. So the option is the correct option is A. So this is how the questions can be expected in the CO. If you know the basic concepts, you can solve very easily. So for gate exam is especially based on the basic concept, conceptual data only. If you know that basic concept, directly you can solve the question. Okay, even though three minutes is given to us, it just requires only one minute if you just know the basic concepts. Okay, fine. So that is how you can understand the gate questions. Thank you so much.